Thank you for joining me today. I'd like to take the next few minutes and discuss email threat management, or more commonly referred to as spam. Your company is moving away from an on-premise system to a cloud-based system, excuse me, powered by Postini. Postini handles over a billion pieces of email a day. Uh, handling so much email allows them to accurately filter out the most egregious spam. Uh, those pieces of email that is questionable is put into a journal and emailed to you once a day sometime between the hours of 7 and 9 that's adjusted by IT uh, and within that journal you have the ability to release email let's talk about what the journal looks like so every morning again you'll receive a journal entry similar to the one that's on the screen right now this journal entry tells you who the email is from what the subject matter was the date in which it was sent and if you want the ability to deliver it. Let's talk about the two key components inside this window. The first one is going to be the subject matter. Let's say that you have a piece of email here you're not sure if you really want it or not. You have the ability to actually click on the subject matter. A web browser will open, in this case Internet Explorer, it could be Safari, it could be Google, and you can actually see the email itself. The contents of the email. At that point you can deliver it to your inbox I'll move it to trash or actually do nothing at all. In my case I'm going to move this to my inbox. I'll hit deliver to inbox. I'll receive another screen but in about 30 seconds if not less I'll actually get a pop-up saying it's been delivered. If this is a sender that I know and want to receive their email every single day I check off approve sender list click the button that says approve sender and this will be whitelisted. The sender will be whitelisted. We'll talk about this a little bit later in the advanced video. This video is going to be broken into two sections. Basic user interface, advanced, and I can hit continue. Um, I come into my journal, which we'll talk about in a moment. So I was able to look at the email, make a determination, and have it delivered. Let's say, for example, I know that this email is one that I want. I now have the ability to go across, hit the button that says deliver, Window in, and a window will open up. I can close that window. I do it by just Xing off, and there's the email in my inbox. Um, that's a one time uh, delivery. So if I have an email inside my inbox and I want to deliver it, I can click the deliver button, okay, right within the um, journal entry that I received. Now that's great uh, every morning for the 24 hours prior. What if during the day I expect uh, an email and I haven't received it and I want to check my uh, quarantine folder? In the past you had to contact IT. Actually you no longer need to be, do that. What you can do is open up a web browser and within the web browser window itself type in www.postini.com helps if you spell it right p-o-s-t-i-n-i.com on the right hand side there will be a Postini login which you can click and you'll be brought to a journal interface however I, I do want to point one thing out um, I got there because I checked off a box that said remember my username and password you're gonna get the first time you log in you're gonna get this interface in front of you you'll need to put in your email address and the password that has been previously sent to you now I suspect you've probably lost that email that's fine put in what you think it may be hit login you'll get a forgot your password now again no 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 longer any need to contact IT click on the button that says forgot your password a new password will be sent to you here it is um, what I do is I highlight this password because I'm never going to remember this password at all I copy it I go back to log in put that temporary password in by the way I do not check this at this point in time and I'll tell you why in a moment now it comes to a window that asks me for the old password which is that temporary one and some password that I want to use now this is not the password that you log into your system every day at work um, it will not change every 30, 60, or 90 days. So pick a password that you're going to remember, and it's pretty much going to be a password for Postini going forward. Um, I've put mine in. I've hit Save Change. I'm going to log out. I'm back at this window. I put the password in that I've just picked. 
Now, if you're on a work computer or a home computer, feel free to check this button. Remember my address and password. This means that the next time on this computer, do not do it at a public computer, don't do it on a friend's computer, don't do it on the laptop that's not yours. If this computer is your computer at work or your computer at home and nobody else uses it, feel free to check Remember My Password. By doing so, the next time you go to this interface, you'll not actually have to put a username and password in. So let me kind of explain that. I'm going to close this out. As I said earlier, what happens if uh, during the day you need to check your quarantine, type in postini.com. Right hand side, postini login. It's going to be automatic because it has your username and password. Here is all the spam that I received in the last week. Same as within the email journal. You can click on it. Let's find one. You can click on the subject matter, see the email. If you like it, you can hit deliver. If you want to whitelist this person so you always get their email, there it is. Approve sender. Hit approve senders, it'll be whitelisted. If not, just hit continue. Come back to the journal. Or if you know it's the email you want, just click deliver now. Again, there's the email. And you can hit continue. I usually just X off at the top when I'm done. Uh, no need to worry about moving stuff to trash. By the way, trash is Postini trash, not your trash on your Outlook client. Um, and if you don't touch anything here, this will self-purge itself um, after 15 days. Okay. So just to recap, every morning, roughly uh, between 7 and 9 a.m., you'll receive a journal entry similar to the one you see here with all the email that has been quarantined. You can release the email by clicking the deliver button or you can actually view the email by clicking on the subject matter. And during the day if you want to check your filter you can open up a web browser type in postini.com www.postini.com Postini login if you save your username and password it will go right in otherwise you'll get a screen similar to this where you'll need to put in your username which is your email address and the password remember if you forgot your password type in anything you like hit login you'll be sent a new password here's the password they sent me I just like highlighting it copying it put the temporary password in log in you'll be asked to reset the password again this password is whatever password you like it is not your system based password save changes okay and that's about it um, going forward there is a second part of this video called advanced which you may want to take a look at but again pretty straightforward every morning you get a journal entry you can deliver the email within a journal entry you can look at the email and sometime during the day if you want to check your filter www.postini.com click on the right hand side it will ask you for your email address and your password if you've got your password you can self reset it have a very good day